Hi, this is Michael Rogers with Xenos. Today, I'd like to take you through the life cycle of an event. By now, you've probably already performed some event management using the event console or event archive, and you might be wondering, just how do these events get here? You might not be wondering that, but it is the topic of this video. Prior to reaching the event console for manipulation, each event goes through the same event processing pipeline and we'll be covering each step in that journey. First, our new events must be generated by some collection daemon, as seen in the agent column of your event console. Whether events are generated by SNMP traps and syslog messages, or by direct monitoring of infrastructure devices, the daemon that collected them will first pass them to the ZenHub daemon. If ZenHub isn't immediately available, the events are cached in each daemon's internal event queue. ZenHub has many roles and duties within Resource Manager's architecture. Its role in the event processing pipeline is to act as a central aggregation point for all incoming events. As events roll in from various collection daemons, ZenHub checks them to ensure validity. Each event must have at least a device, a severity, and a summary. If these minimum requirements are met, ZenHub writes the event to its internal work list. A ZenHub worker is then responsible for executing a send events task against these events, publishing them to a message queue. Message queuing in Resource Manager is handled by an instance of the RabbitMQ server. These message queues allow the publishing daemon to hand off messages without waiting for the consuming daemon to be ready to receive them. The first of these queues is named xenos.queues.zep.rawevents, or more commonly, just the raw events queue. Next, these raw events from the rabbit queue are consumed by the ZenEventD daemon which begins its work on them. The role of ZenEventD is complex, but it can be generally broken down into three main duties. First, for events coming from known monitored devices, ZenEventD will add that device's information to the event. For instance, the device's production state, priority, and system group and location organizer memberships may not be known to the originating collection daemon. ZenEventD provides this device context to the event to enhance its utility. For events that originate in the unknown event class, like traps and syslog messages, ZenEventD will compare the incoming event to any configured event mapping instances and execute that mapping if a match is found. This will rehome the event to a more appropriate event class. If the event's event class or one of its parent classes contains transform code, ZenEventD is responsible for executing that code against the event. When ZenEventD is finished contextualizing and enhancing an event, it then publishes the event to another rabbit queue, xenos.queues.zep.zenevents, and moves on to the next. After events are published to the ZenEvents queue, they are consumed by another daemon named ZenEvent Server. Like ZenEventD before it, ZenEvent Server has multiple duties in the event processing pipeline. First, ZenEvent Server compares the deduplication identifier, or dedupe ID, to existing events in the events database. If no match is found, ZenEvent Server writes the event as a new entry in the Xenos ZEP database inside the MariaDB events database instance. If a matching dedupe ID exists, ZenEvent Server will update the last seen time field of the existing event and increment its count by one. If the event is a severity zero clear event that matches an existing event, ZenEvent Server will perform an auto clear correlation. This is the mechanism by which a ping up event clears a ping down event, among others. Third, in addition to storing events for retrieval and analysis, 
Zen Event Server is also responsible for maintaining its own index of the events database. This provides fast lookup, filtering, and sort capabilities when viewing the event console. Fourth, the actual event console itself, along with other event-based UI elements, are served by the Zen Event Server daemon. Finally, Zen Event Server is responsible for comparing incoming events against all configured triggers. If a matching and enabled trigger is found, Zen Event Server publishes a copy of the event to another rabbit queue. Xenos.queues.zep.signal. From this signal queue, events are consumed by the final daemon in the Resource Manager event pipeline, Zen Action D. Zen Action D compares incoming trigger signals against any matching and enabled notifications. If any are found, Zen Action D then executes the corresponding notification. Whether it's an email, command, a ticket integration, or some other custom code. And that's the Resource Manager event processing pipeline from start to finish. I hope you found this information useful. Thanks for watching and have a great day.